Well, everyone, it's getting that, it's getting near that time. In a few, in a couple days, Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 is going to come out. So, with that being said, there's only one thing I can do. And that is, review Breaking Dawn Part 1. Yes. Then, yeah, of course, this is the two disc special edition version I got on my birthday. Woo! Um, but yeah, it's got some cool features and stuff like that. So, talking about the movie. And yes, I know some people have talked to death about this movie and blah, blah, blah. But still, that doesn't mean I can't add my own two cents on the matter, right? Exactly. So, what happens in this movie? Well, basically, Bella and Edward are finally getting married. So, yes, the wedding we've been building up to since Eclipse now happens in this movie. Yay! And of course, there's this whole flashback scene that shows Ed that shows what Edward was like after he became a vampire and blah 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 blah. So, yeah. And of course, then the wedding happens, and oh my god, you guys, Bella's dress was so gorgeous and beautiful. It just looked stunning on her. I mean, really, whoever designed that dress did a fantastic job. Just freaking loved it. So, after the wedding ceremony, we, go, we of course get introduced to the Denali clan, who of course will show up in part two. Big shock. And, of course, then, Jacob shows up. Yay! But, unfortunately, Bella tells him some terrible news. Apparently, Bella's going to wait after her honeymoon to become a vampire. So, yeah. Basically, Bella wants to have sex with Edward before becoming a vampire. Wow, that's not even a little bit life-threatening there, Bella. Hello? I'm oh, sorry, but really... Bella's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Let's get real here, folks. I mean, she's not that good of a role model. She's just, uh, Yeah. So, anywho, the honeymoon happens on Isle Esme, and it's so beautiful and gorgeous and stuff like that. And, well, then Edward and Bella have sex. Yeah. Of course, the day after, the whole room is completely trashed. I mean, there's just oh, it's just, it looks like wreck in there. So, yeah. And then, of course, Bella gets pregnant. Gee, what a shock. But everyone's like, oh, is this possible? Ooh, how could this be possible? Well, let's think about this for a minute here. Edward is a vampire. So, basically, the questions that they're asking is, they are kind of legitimate. I mean, how is it possible that a vampire and human having sex could make Bella pregnant? I mean, seriously. Again, Edward is a vampire, and he had sex with a human. So, yeah. That is kind of a legitimate question, really. And yes, I know Doug Walker mentioned it when he did his bum review for for Breaking Dawn Part 1 and blah blah blah, but still, again, this is a very legitimate question that they're raising. How could a vampire and a human have a child after having sex? I mean, you would think that, that, the, that, like, that those two things would cancel each other out because vampires and humans are two completely different species. But I guess through the miracle of miracles, it happens, and so they have to rush Bella back to the Cullen house so that we could try to get it out. But Bella's like, "No, no, I want to keep the baby. I want to keep the baby." And everyone's like, "No, you have to, you have to take it out of you. It's, it's going to kill you." And Bella's like, "No, let me keep it. Let me keep it." And they're like, "Okay, fine." So yeah, and of course that does mean that the child who who, of course, is going to be Renesme, obviously, is going to be half human, half vampire. So, yeah, that's going to be very interesting when we get to part two. Eh. 
So, yeah. And, of course, Jacob, he, of course, doesn't want to see Bella die. And, but, of course, he can't bring himself to kill Bella. So, what does he do? He leaves the pack. Yep. Jacob leaves the wolf pack and becomes a man and does the right thing. And, oh, it's so brave and noble and so courageous. Thank you, Jacob. So, yeah. And, of course, the clear waters... Leia and Seth, they also leave, and because of that, they can't hear what's going on with Sam's pack. Hmm, ain't that interesting. So yeah, basically, Jacob, Leia, and Seth, they of course are on the side of the Collins, and everything's okay, and blah 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 blah, until Bella gives birth. Now, yes, I know the birthing scene has caused a lot of controversy, because it has May some people go into epileptic shock and everything okay and blah 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 blah. Okay, I get it. That's why when I do my reviews, I never show clips from the movies that I review because I don't want to harm anyone. So there you go. Basically, the birthing scene happens, and of course, Jacob decides not to kill Edward and blah 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 blah. And of course, Bella dies. No! <laughs> yeah. Well, then, of course, the pack, of course, the evil pack gets wind of this, and of course, they decide to attack the Collins. But then Jacob shows up, having, after having imprinted on Renezme. So, yeah. Basically, Jacob imprinted on Renezme. And because of that, the wolves can't harm Renezme. Wow. Talk about a cheesy way to end a war, folks. But, oh well then. And of course, af and of course, after that, what happens? Bella becomes a vampire after Edward bit her. A lot. So, yeah. Bella's a vampire now. Yay! And of course, there's this post credit scene that shows the Volturi getting wedding invite or something like that, blah, 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 but whatever. So, breaking down part one, good or bad? Well, I don't know. It's kind of mixed for me, really. I mean, yes, this movie does have some of its good moments, but at the same time, you're like, what the hell? But yeah, but overall, I do really, I do enjoy Breaking Down Part 1, and yeah, I know it's spelling up to everything that's gonna happen in Part 2, blah blah blah, okay, yes, I know, just like how they did in Harry Potter Deathly Hollows Part 1, okay, I get it. So, yeah. But other than that, th this is an okay movie, so, yeah, am I really looking forward to Breaking Down Part 2 and seeing how it's all gonna end? Yes, I am. I'm very interested to see how this all happens. Like seeing all the other vampire covens and what they can do and also the epic battle between the Cullens, their allies, the wolf pack, fighting against the Volturi. I cannot wait to see that. So, other than that, yeah. Part one of Breaking Dawn is an okay movie, so take it for what it's worth. So, yeah. Now, before I end this video, I do have to tell you guys something, okay? First of all, I am going to do a the general review of part two after I see it, so you can see that in my thoughts on playlist. But after I get the movie on DVD, I will talk about this movie more in depth. So basically, here's what's going to happen. For the first time, I'm going to review Breaking Dawn part two. It's going to be spoiler free. No spoilers, I'm just going to talk about the basic things that happen. That's it. But when I get the movie on DVD, then you could probably, ex then of course, after, and of course that'll happen like sometime next year, so it'll be after everyone has seen the movie, and so yeah, that's how it's going to happen. So basically, I'm going to do two reviews of the same movie. So yeah. But again, my first review part two is going to be completely spoiler free free okay no spoilers at all and then when I do it again I'm 
I'm just going to talk about everything that happens in this movie and stuff like that. And of course, not of course, been after everyone's seen the movie, so I know what happened. So I won't give anything away during that review. But again, when I review it for the first time, I will not include any spoilers. I will try as hard as I can, but I will just give a warning that there might be spoilers. I won't say there will be, but there might be spoilers. Okay, so there we go. So, until next time, live long and prosper. Peace out. Happy Veterans Day, everyone. Bye.